What's going on YouTube? Josh here checking in. Today I wanted to discuss the topic of really should you be doing cardio and or conditioning work if your goal is to get stronger. There's This is something that's you know a hot topic of debate. There's one school of thought that says if you want to train for strength, just train for strength, lift weights in the gym and that's the end of it. And then there's another side that says you know there's potentially some benefit from doing both. Uh, you know, and uh, actually to the extreme, you have people who are hybrid athletes like Alex Biata. This guy, he squats and deadlifts over 700 pounds. Meanwhile, he also competes in ultra marathons. So I'll actually put a link in the description box below to his website and a Q&A where you'll be able to learn a little bit more about him if that interests you. So really, what's my take on it? What do I think? How does cardio and or conditioning work? fit into the programming of a strength athlete, somebody whose goal is to get stronger. So basically, there's this concept of GPP, or general, general physical preparedness, that was developed by the Russians several years ago. And the idea is essentially, if you're able to increase your general level of physical fitness, then you'll be able to perform better in the gym. It kind of makes sense, right? If you're really out of shape, you're un you're deconditioned and you know, you're doing a squat workout and you're on your fifth or sixth set of squats, chances are you're probably going to be tanked. But if you take that same individual and you actually build up their level of physical fitness and they're more physically conditioned, specifically their cardiovascular system, then perhaps when they get to that fifth and sixth set of squats, they'll have a little bit more left, you know, they'll have a little bit more energy, they won't be quite as winded, and they'll be able to perform better and maybe do some additional sets, do more work, and then in turn see better results. So that being said, if that's the case, what kind of cardio should you be doing? How often should you be doing it? Things like that. The bottom line is that there's no really one size fits all, it's really a matter of personal preference. I personally think that you know, anybody whose goal is to be fit, if your goal is fitness, you know, just general fitness, then you should probably be doing a reasonable amount, maybe some type of cardiovascular conditioning work two or three times per week. If your goal is strictly to be a strength athlete, say like a power lifter, um, then, you know, it's going to really depend on what your time allows and what your current state of conditioning is. So, you know, obviously your primary goal is always going to be lifting weights. I do not want to take away from that. That's where you get stronger in the gym, lifting weights. That being said, there is certainly benefit to doing some type of conditioning work. Now, you can either do low intensity, which is kind of like, say, walking or, you know, maybe a very light uh, bike ride, something like that would be kind of more low intensity versus high intensity, which would be like sprinting or pushing a prowler, pulling sleds things like that. So what should you be doing? Basically, I don't really think that there's any one right answer. It's really a matter of whatever you prefer to do. I think if you're going to be doing high intensity stuff for conditioning, then you should probably limit it to once per week, maybe twice per week, twice per week if you're in very good shape, simply because those are going to be much harder to recover from. On the flip side, if you want to be doing more low intensity stuff, I would say two to three times per week would be a reasonable uh, goal to do that kind of work. And then finally, what I want to say is, you know, have fun with your cardio and your conditioning work. If your friends want to play a pickup game of basketball, don't say, you know, oh, I can't do that because I'm, I'm scared I'm going to lose all my gains. You know, obviously be smart about it. I'm not going to play a pickup game of basketball with my buddies if it's the day before powerlifting meet. But, you know, that kind of stuff is great for conditioning. And it, you know, you, as you build up your physical fitness level, you should hopefully be able to increase your work capacity in the gym. Now I wanted to talk about one more note about this idea of work capacity, and that is you don't simply build work capacity by doing conditioning work. A great way to build work capacity is actually in the gym. So you can actually just manipulate things like your rest intervals, so you could try and shorten your rest intervals to see if you can kind of um, you know, go into the next set where you're not quite as recovered as you were before and build up your endurance that way. You can try and add more volume to your workouts, and that will also build your work capacity in the gym. Now, I'm going to finish with telling you guys a brief anecdote. So, basically, this past weekend, I actually competed in a Tough Mudder 
If you're not familiar with that, it's like a 10, 12 mile obstacle course run. So I'm gonna leave you guys with, with a quick vlog that I took from, from that event. What's going on YouTube? Josh here checking in from the Tough Mudder, South Florida. So this is pretty funny because the Tough Mudder is actually what inspired me to start lifting seriously about two and a half years ago. So in like November of 2011, I did a Tough Mudder and uh, I was really super, super skinny. And then I decided to start lifting. So now look at me here, power lifter and now doing a Tough Mudder. So just goes to show that you don't need to do um, you know, just one or the other. And now all my friends are making fun of me because I'm vlogging right now. Now they're on camera. Yeah. So that's it, guys. You know, you don't need to just be a, a fat power lifter that doesn't do any endurance work. So that's the video, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you guys have any questions, please put them below. And if you're training for strength and you do cardio or you do some type of conditioning work, post below. Let me know what kind of things that you like to do. What do you find works best for you? And maybe you don't do any and tell me how that's working out for you. So be sure to comment below guys. If you like the video, give it a like. If you're not a subscriber already, please subscribe and I'll catch you guys next time. Peace.